Welcome to the HBM Test and Measurement FAQ video series. I'm Lyle Hawkey, an HBM Applications Engineer. In this video, I will demonstrate how to view and log raw CAN data using the EDAC web interface. Viewing live CAN messages is a good method to confirm that the EDAC is indeed receiving CAN data. Logging CAN data is a good way to troubleshoot CAN issues when the EDAC is not collecting good CAN data. This video does not address CAN database design or database troubleshooting. This discussion is about the physical CAN connection between EDAC and CAN controller. CAN bus data can be applied to an ECOM CAN port, an ELCOM CAN port, or a CAN vehicle bus module. For this demonstration, I will be viewing CAN data that is broadcast by a SOMAT CR module and received by an EDAC Lite ELCOM CAN layer. Because the SOMAT module requires power from the CAN port and I will want to terminate the CAN bus at the EDAC, I will first configure the ELCOM's CAN port in TCE. Once the CAN bus is configured, I can log CAN messages in the EDAC web interface. To configure the EDAC CAN port, open TCE and connect to the EDAC. Open a new TCE setup by selecting the File menu and then select New Setup or Select the In button in the TCE toolbar. Click on the F1 key on the TCE toolbar or press keyboard function key F1 to open the hardware setup window. Next, query the EDAC hardware by selecting the Query button. In the table of hardware, select a CAN vehicle bus. Select the Config button. You can also double click on the CAN bus of interest to configure that particular CAN bus port. Next, click on the Hardware Interface Specifics button to open the CAN Interface Setup dialog. For the SOMAT CR module, I entered a voltage of 15 in the transducer power field. If the EDAC is one of two CAN devices on the bus, which it is, check Enable Internal Termination. For most CAN vehicle bus applications where the EDAC is simply listening to the CAN bus, enabling the internal termination resistor is the only setting that is required. Although you can define the baud rate in this dialog, it is not necessary. The baud rate for viewing CAN data will be defined in EDAC web interface. Click OK. Click OK. To log CAN data, start by opening a web browser. On the URL line of the browser, type in the IP address of the EDAC to get connected to the EDAC. Next, select the Hardware tab. In the card type column, select any CAN vehicle bus link. The SOMAT CR was connected to the CAN 1 port, so I set the bit rate of CAN 1 to 500 kilobits. Click on Log CAN Messages. Within a couple of seconds, if the EDAC is receiving CAN data, you should see a window filling with CAN messages. If there are no CAN messages displayed, check the CAN bus configuration. If you are having problems logging CAN data, consider the following. What is the baud rate or bit rate of the CAN bus? If you do not know the bit rate of the bus that is being measured, use the EDAC web interface and experimentally try different bit rates until data is streamed. Try the most common bit rates of 250 kilobit, 500 kilobit, and 1 megabit. If you are working with a CAN device that requires power from the EDAC CAN port, is the device getting powered? If not, in TCE, check the transducer voltage that is defined in the CAN Interface Setup dialog. 
The Ecom CAN ports can provide up to 2.8 watts of transducer power. A CAN device that requires more than 2.8 watts of power will sink the transducer voltage and could damage the CAN port. Next, is a CAN bus termination resistor required? Each end of a CAN bus should be terminated with a 120 ohm resistor. Having more than two termination resistors applied to the bus could overload the bus or corrupt the bus. Most often, the EDAC CAN port is wired to a single transducer or a vehicle bus. So most often, it is termination resistor should be enabled. That brings us to how is the CAN bus physically wired to the EDAC CAN port. With the exception of the CAN port on the legacy high-level board, all EDAC CAN ports use the same wiring scheme. When wiring the EDAC CAN ports, wire at minimum CAN high, CAN low, and ground to the CAN bus or CAN transducer. The ground wire is important. Leaving the ground wire disconnected between the EDAC CAN port and CAN controller may result in intermittent CAN operation and data dropouts. The red wire is a power source for CAN transducers. Unless you are working with an obsolete single wire CAN network, never apply external or vehicle power to the red wire or pin 5 of the CAN connector. Doing so may cause damage to the CAN port. For the CAN vehicle bus module, pin 5 or the red wire is not active. It cannot provide transducer power. For those that may still be using the CAN port on an EDAC legacy high level board, the TCE help system and the EDAC manual have wiring diagrams for all EDAC connectors and cabling. The TCE help system and the EDAC manual can be retrieved from the TCE help menu. That concludes this video on logging raw CAN data with an EDAC. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to call or send an email to HBM Support.